Namaste, 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 namaste. Is there anyone who is completely new to yoga here? No? Is there anyone who has not done Kundalini? Okay, so Kundalini is very different from other types of yoga. We don't call them asanas, we call them kriyas. All of Kundalini is aimed at opening up all your energy centers. So although there are a lot of chakras in our body, nobody actually knows how many. Could be 108, could be 120. There are seven major ones that are in line with your spine. So what we're working today is the throat chakra. The ch throat chakra is all around here. It's your neck, it's your thyroid, it goes up to your ears, around your jaw. And it's very much connected to your ability to speak your truth to know your truth, to be able to set boundaries, to be able to communicate effectively. And actually, when I do chakra classes and I check chakras, it is the number one thing that is closed on most people in the world, is their ability to speak. So today, we're going to use different sort of kriyas, breath, mantras, a meditation at the end to open up the throat chakra. There's three kinds of breathings we do in this class. The first is long, deep breaths. When you're breathing from here, just remember you start at the belly, expand into the chest, use the underarms, fill the head, then exhale from the head, release the underarms, feel the ribs move down and in, and your belly in and up at the end. Don't use effort. A lot of people do this, and they're using their back muscles. You should actually just be using air, your core muscles, the muscles between your ribs, these muscles here, and your neck muscles. So you should be able to take long, deep breaths without getting tired. The second breath is a little faster. It's just in and out through the nose. So it's the belly still coming out. The last is the breath of fire. We do this quite a bit. Breath of fire is all from your belly. It sounds like this. When you're exhaling, the belly is coming in. As you relax the belly, it's a natural inhale. So everyone, if you want to place your hand on your belly, the easiest way to start it is imagine you're a dog that's panting. So it's Now close the mouth and keep doing it, but So exhale, belly comes in, relax it, the natural inhale. When we do this breath, go as fast or slow as you need to go. Don't follow my breath, my breath will be a little faster. At the end of a lot of poses, I'm going to ask you to hin inhale, move energy all the way up to the top of your head, your crown chakra, and squeeze your perineum. Your perineum is between your genitalia and your anus. So if you were to imagine putting a sock under there and you're squeezing the sock, this is your root lock. We have three locks in yoga, here, here, and here. When we're creating energy in our body, we're locking it in instead of releasing it and losing it from the eight holes in our body. So when I ask you at the end of a Kriya to squeeze, squeeze the area here. Imagine the energy and visualize it moving to the crown of your head. Hold it as long as you can in relaxation. So don't hold it like this. And then exhale when I ask you to. Now, if it gets too much, exhale before I need you to. The poses, they look very simple. You're going to start them and go, ah, I can do this. Why am I doing? But we hold for two to three minutes. They start to get a little tired after two or three minutes. Just try and work through it. If it gets too much, stop. Lay on your back if you need to or come into a child's pose. Last thing. The mantra we use in Kundalini is on the wall. It's called Ong Namo Gurudev Namo. And then we just do one Om. Mantras are not me putting you into my cult. A lot of people are very scared of mantras, don't do them, think it's a religious thing. No, mantras carry knowledge. Even if you don't know what the mantra is saying, when you repeat it, you are getting knowledge, universal knowledge, into you. Every mantra carries a vibration. In this sense, in this one, when you say Ong, you are starting from here, your head, Namo is here, Gurudev is here, Namo is back here. Om is from here, A-U-M. We have three boxes in our body. Our head box, which is our thinking box, our heart box, which is our give and receive box, and our gut box, which is our intuitive box. 
for most of us, there's a disconnect between this box and our upper boxes. So if you're ever sitting in anxiety, depression, and you feel it here, it's because your three boxes are not connected. I'm just going to say it once for you now, so you understand when we say the mantra what it sounds like. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om. The M is always the longest, and there's always a silent syllable after the Om which connects your vibration to all the vibration around you. Does anybody have any questions before we start? No? Fabulous. Find your comfortable seated position. Pull your cheeks to the side and back so you're comfortably on your sitting bones. Place your hands on the mat and lengthen your spine and then place your hands on your knees or in your lap and close your eyes. If your hands are on your knees, your thumb and finger are touching. These are the acupuncture points for your lung and your intestines, your gut. Or if your hands are on your lap, your left hand is under your right and your thumbs are touching. Gently take your shoulders, lift them, roll them down your back, opening your chest. Lift the crown of your head up towards the sky and gently ground yourself into the earth below you. Take a moment to just be aware of where you are. Acknowledge any sounds happening around you. Without opening your eyes, or turning your head, gently acknowledge the person and the energy beside you. Although you believe you are separate from each other, we are all actually connected energetically at a conscious level. So to begin, let's gently begin to move our energy to a place of gratitude. But instead of giving gratitude for the things we have in your life, give gratitude to yourself today for all the amazing things that are within you. So for example, it might look like this. I give gratitude to the kindness that exists within me, to my ability to be compassionate in giving, and so forth. So take a moment to give you gratitude. Now give gratitude for being able to be a part of this moment and for your breath. Give gratitude to the plants in this studio, which with each inhale offers you life, and with each exhale you give them back life. Now begin to focus on your throat. Visualize a beautiful spinning wheel in the middle of your throat spinning clockwise. Visualize a spinning wheel in front of your throat and behind your throat. See the color blue spread up your throat to your lower jaw and across your ears. With each inhale, feel spacious around your throat. Feel light and as expansive as the sky. Gently in your mind, begin to repeat the mantra HAM, H-A-M. 
If you focus on the wheel, the mantra, the color, you will begin to feel heat around your throat. So just take a moment. If your mind wanders, just pull it back to your throat and the mantra hum. Put a gentle smile on your face. And then place your hands over your heart. Take a moment to set an intention for a change you want to see with you that is around your throat chakra. So take a moment to plant that seed in your heart, in your throat, repeating it every day until it becomes a part of you or something that you are able to do. So take a moment. Bring the palms of your hands together, thumb touching your heart. And we begin with our mantra followed by an om. If you do not remember it, you can open your eyes, look at the wall. But it's Ong Namo Gurudev Namo Om. And we begin our inhale now. Ong Namo Gently rub your hands together. Place them over your eyes. Take a deep inhale. Deep exhale. Slowly open your eyes. And we're going to start with our knees. So we're doing this for a minute and a half. Keep your shoulders in line with your hips. Push the chest out. Inhale. Exhale. Round. And just start when you're ready, go at whatever pace you want, taking long breaths. The more you speed up, the more energy you're going to create. Just try and move the spine, the back, keeping the shoulders in line with the hips. And the chin parallel to the mat. Really open the throat. In and out through the nose, not through the mouth. Try and speed it up a little. going. Inhale up, squeeze. 
Squeeze the perineum, pull the energy to the top of the head and hold. Exhale, release. Good, place your hands on your shoulders. You're going to inhale left, exhale right. Keep the arms parallel to the floor. So listen to the breath. Let the neck follow and when you're ready, start. We stay here for two minutes. Keep going, we're opening the spine here which the neck is included in. Let the neck go with it. Sorry. Hold no tension in the spine or the neck. You're nearly there, keep going. To neutral, inhale up, squeeze, hold. Exhale, release. Place your hands on your lap for just a moment. Close your eyes, start to feel the vibration. Remember, you are just 52 trillion vibrating cells. So when we start to move them, bring air into them, you start to feel a vibration move through you. Good, open your eyes, hands on your shoulders. You're going to inhale, come up, let the wrists touch, exhale, come down. So it's inhale up, wrists touch, lengthen the spine. Exhale down, and we do this for a minute and a half. Keep the head facing forward. You can keep the eyes open and focus on a spot at the tip of your mat or close your eyes and focus on the tip of your nose. Relax your face. Good, inhale up, squeeze. Exhale, release it. Release before you pass out and die, please. Good, take a breath here. Good, for a minute, we're gonna inhale and just start to roll our shoulders forward. We just do it for a minute forward and then a minute backwards. Remember, feel the full rotation. 
This class is also super good if you have mobile phone disease or computer disease and your shoulders are contracted into a very odd shape. Keep the chest open, the back flat, the spine long, and it's just the shoulders. Connect it with the breath. Inhale up, exhale down. Good, now start to go backwards. If you want, repeat the mantra, hum. Inhale up, squeeze. Exhale, release. Good. Now for a minute, with your nose, start to make the figure eight one way. So just imagine you're drawing the number eight. So you can also sit with your legs straight if you need to. We're moving out of sitting after this pose. Good, now the other way around. So draw it the opposite way. Sure, you're breathing. Good, just come to neutral, take an inhale, exhale. And then come on to all fours. So we're just going to do our cat and cows for a minute. Just remember, make sure your wrists are in line with your shoulders, your knees in line with your hips, your fingers are spread and slightly outwards. And then as you inhale, you arch the back, lift the head. As you exhale, round the back, belly button to your spine, chin to your chest. Good. And just keep it going at your own rhythm for a minute. With each movement, you always start below your sacrum, so at the base of your spine.
pushing the earth away at the top of the inhale and pushing the earth away as you come into the exhale. Really just moving the neck up and down. Feel the full movement of every vertebra all the way up to your neck. Good. Inhale. Exhale, round. Good. Stay on all fours. So we're now going to come into our cat and downward dog. So it looks like this. Inhale like this. Curl the toes. Exhale, back. Inhale back on the knees, look up. Exhale back. Find your rhythm. Keep going. We stay here for a minute and a half in this movement. Remember, if you need a break, you can come into your child's pose. Always grip the mat with your fingers to protect your wrists. Look up as you inhale on your knees, chin towards your chest as you exhale. So as you come up into your dog, you're looking towards your belly button. Inhale here, exhale into your dog, big exhale through the mouth. Take another inhale through the nose and a big sigh. <laughs> and then slowly walk your hands to your feet. Bend your knees, slowly roll up. All right, now we come into our Kriyas. That was just the warm-up. Feet are hip-width apart. This is what it looks like. Your hands are here. This is when you exhale. Inhale to 60 degrees, looking up. Exhale, back to neutral. And just keep with this movement for two minutes. Make sure your feet are hip-width apart. So just as you move your head back, move it to a place that's comfortable. going.
Remember, it's not all the way over your head. It's just at 60 degrees. So Holly, a little more in front of you. So Jane, you don't want to go that far back. It's just in line with your forehead. Inhale up, look forward, squeeze. Exhale, release. Elbows out, take a moment here. Slowly come to a seated position. Good. You're gonna take the arms out, palms upwards, and you're gonna inhale and look to the left. Exhale, look to the right. On the inhale, in your head, you want to say Sat, S-A-T. And on the exhale, you want to say Nam, Sat Nam. Sat Nam means you are truth, that the truth of everything lives within you. So relax the shoulders. You can even do this on your knees if you want. So inhale to the left, exhale to the right. Keep going for a minute and a half. Remember, sat on the inhale, nam on the exhale. Just keep repeating the mantra, Sat Nam. Inhale, look forward, squeeze. Exhale, release. Hands in your lap for a moment. Good. Here, you're going to start with the left shoulder. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. So just alternate between shoulders, but you inhale up, exhale down, and then go to the other shoulder. Keep looking forward. Just remember, anything we're working with the arms, the upper body, we're also working the energy channels for our heart, our lung, our pericardium, the muscle around our heart, and our upper and lower gut connected to our immune system. Visualize the color blue spreading across the throat. 
Inhale, lift up both, squeeze. Exhale, release. Okay, so now we're gonna come onto our knees. If you cannot do a minute and a half, do not worry. So, the palms are downwards. The head is up in a comfortable position and we do the breath of fire. So remember how the breath of fire works. If you had two marbles in your nose and every time you wanted to eject them, you ejected them on the exhale, you pulled in your belly. And then as you relax the belly, you would have a natural inhale. So you're not forcing the inhale. So we're gonna do it for a minute and a half. Go at your own speed, own rhythm, but do it properly because otherwise you're not generating heat all the way up. So palms down, head up. Take an inhale, exhale here. Inhale and begin. Inhale, look forward, squeeze. Exhale, release. Palms upwards, take a moment. If you find after that you're tiring, slow down the heat, the breath of fire. Good, come to a seated position. You're going to clasp your hands behind your back. Now you're gonna drop your chin to your chest and we're going to do the breath of fire for a minute and a half here. So take an inhale, take an exhale, take an inhale and begin.
Inhale, look forward, squeeze. Squeeze that perineum. Exhale, release. Bring the hands out, finger and thumb touching. Now we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're gonna just turn the head for a minute and a half, but this time you're going to inhale to the right, exhale to the left. And mentally repeat Sat Nam. Sat as you inhale, Nam as you exhale. Keep the spine long, back flat, chest open. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Look forward, inhale, squeeze. Exhale, release. Good, straighten the legs. Place your hands behind you, away from you. So, the fingers are like this, and they're 30 degrees, so you don't wanna go too far down. Then from here, your toes are trying to face downwards. You look up, and we're gonna stay here for a minute and a half, take long, deep breaths. You're nearly there, this is your second last pose. So just long inhales, long exhales. Keeping the spine straight. The neck is too uncomfortable all the way back. Just move it to a place which is all comfortable for you. Point the toes down, engaging the legs. Push into the hands, opening the chest, the throat. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, palms upwards, toes up. Take a couple of breaths here. And we move into our last pose. Good, come onto your knees. 
So now you're going to clasp your hands. If in all of us there's a masculine and a feminine, we're not all women, we're not all men, there's two energies within us, and most of them are imbalanced. So if you find that the masculine in you is imbalanced, take the right thumb and put it on top. If you find the feminine in you need balancing, place the left thumb on top. Straighten the finger, and this is what it looks like. So it's inhale to 30 degrees, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Try and keep the knees on the ground so you're just opening. And you're not looking up, you're looking forward as you come up. Look down as you come down and look forward as you come up. So don't let your head go back. Good, we do this for two minutes. So you're only coming about where your chest is and then you're opening and bring it back. Inhale up, look forward, squeeze, hold. Now exhale as you get to the bottom of the exhale, hold as well. Squeeze at the bottom of the exhale. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, release the arms. Good. To finish off, let's eradicate our ego. Haha, <laughs> that would be so good. If it would be that takes a minute. So this is what it looks like. Your thumbs are, your fingers are in, your thumbs are out. You do the breath of fire for a minute, like this. When you exhale, you open the hands and anything you just don't want in your throat, just release it as you exhale down. So hands up, 45 degrees, fingers in, thumb out. Take an inhale, take an exhale, inhale, and begin.
Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, release. Place your hands in your lap for a moment. Good. So we're going to finish with a restorative pose. You're going to grab your blocks. You're going to bring the feet together away from you as you don't want to stretch. You're going to place the block on your feet. Just drop your head. Turn your palm upwards. Now hold on. I just want to explain. I'm going to switch off the lights, and then we're going to go into our Shavasana. When we come out of our Shavasana, we're going to do a meditation today. When you do the meditation, make sure that your fingers are straight, but they're relaxed. And I'm going to play a mantra. You can sing the mantra out loud. You can whisper it. You can do it inside. But also ask yourself, do you like your voice. Part of all these exercises when you do mantras is to learn that if you like your voice, you like your singing voice, but go nuts, sing. It's a really nice mantra. So I'm going to switch off the light. Your hands can also go inside if you want here. So whatever feels more comfortable for you. If you need more blocks, tell me. And then just come into a forward fold. Release your head to the blocks. So move your feet more out, more out. Good. Remember, you want your feet away from you because you don't want to engage in a stretch here. Begin to relax your shoulders. Completely relax your back. Relax your upper lip, your lower lip, and your jaw. Allow your hips to fall open, relaxing your knees. And then just begin to be aware Just begin to be aware of what is rising within you. What you have released. Remember, if you can observe it, it is not you. If I can observe the tree, it does not make me the tree. So just observe knowing that anything that rises has arrived to teach you something about you. Where you're blocked, maybe what you need to let go. And how we let go is to stop giving something energy and attention. Because although that impression, that memory will never disappear, will always sit in your subconscious, what you are removing is its influence over you. So once you see what rises, what's pulling you, acknowledge it, accept it, and then come back to your breath. Just breathe here. Breathe in to the count of four. Breathe out back to the count of one. And in each exhale, just feel your body relax. Sink into the mat and down into the earth. Relax your upper lip, your lower lip, your tongue, and your jaw. Shut out the external world. 
and begin to just take a journey into you. Now take five breaths, in for four, back down to one. Take a deep inhale, deep exhale. Slowly remove the blocks and come lay on your back. Spread the legs so they're as wide as your mat. Turn your palms upwards and move your hands closer towards your feet. Push the shoulders into the earth. Roll your shoulders in towards each other under your back to protect your lower back. And then gently bring your chin towards your chest. Begin to completely relax your toes and your feet. Relax your lower legs and your upper legs. Use the exhale to allow your legs to sink into the mat and down into the earth. Completely relax your shoulders. Your upper arms. Your lower arms. Relax the palms of your hands. And all your fingers. As you exhale, feel your arms sink into the mat and down into the earth. Relax your chest, your stomach. Allow your hips to fall open, to sink into the mat, and down into the earth. Completely relax your lower back, your middle back. and your upper back. Relax your entire spine. And with each exhale, feel your back sink into the mat and down into the earth. Begin to relax your neck, your upper lip, 
your lower lip and your tongue. Relax your cheeks, your forehead, your eyes, and your ears. As you exhale, feel your body sink into the mat and down into the earth. So all that is left is your breath. Now begin to count your breath back from 25. And if you lose count, don't worry, go back to 25. Now gently begin to be aware of the connection between your breath and your body. Notice how your body moves as you breathe in and how it moves as you breathe out. Gently begin to move your fingers, your toes. Raise your arms above your head and give yourself a little stretch. Then bend the knees, the elbows, and roll onto the right side of your body and stay here, keeping your heart elevated. Using your left hand, when you feel ready, slowly make your way to a seated position with your eyes closed, facing the center of the room. <coughs> Bring the hands on the knees, thumbs and finger touching. And this mantra opens up your throat and allows for more clear, open and truthful communication. And we will stay here for five minutes.
palms of your hands together, thumb touching your heart. And we finish this journey with our mantra, Om Namo Gurudev Namo Om. And we begin our inhale. Om. to your forehead, sat now. Give thanks and gratitude to the truth that lives within you and for coming to your mat today and reconnecting with you. Put your thumb to your heart, bow to the planet, the universe, giving gratitude for it provides you life. For without it, you would not be here. As you step into every moment that is your life, always remember you are separate from nothing, but connected to everything. So every thought, word, behavior that ever rises in you affects not only you, but every living being in this planet. Gently rub your hands together. Place them over your eyes. Take a deep inhale. 